Don't touch that dial. Watch this exciting scene from today's four-part story of Underdog. Here it comes now. You got him, boss. You got Underdog. <laughs> of course I got him, Cad. And now I'll fix it so we never have to worry about him again. Or sweet Polly. <laughs> While we're stealing all the money in the country, the tank will be filling up with water, and that will be the end of Underdog and Sweet Polly Purebred. <laughs> In his sinister laboratory, the evil Simon Bar Sinister had come up with a devastating new weapon with which to terrorize the world. <laughs> there it is, Cat. My latest invention. <laughs> oh, what a plan I have for it. What does it do? It's a vacuum gun. Watch. It works beautifully, doesn't it? Sure, but what are you going to do with it? Do? Do? Why, I'm going to clean up the city. That's what I'm going to do. You, a street cleaner? Not streets. Crime. I'm going to clean up every crook in town. I can't believe it. You clean up crime? You, the wickedest man in the wild? Why? Why? You'll see. Come, Cad. Stop here. Uh, stick him up, Buster, and hand over your body. Simon says, come here. Drive on, Cad. Next, at the hideout of the notorious gangster Riff Raff. All right, you guys. Here's how we're going to pull this next big job. Hey, what's the big idea? Simon says, come here. Next, at the state prison where the fiendish batty man and his bats were serving a long sentence. Simon says, come here. <laughs> Wherever criminals were, Simon caught them. He even found the terrible electric eel in his headquarters in the sewer. <laughs> My new crime is going to electrify the city. Wow. Simon says, come here. Meanwhile, sweet Polly Purebred, Ace TV reporter, had become concerned and was talking to humble, lovable Shoeshine. But you must get word to Underdog. I know all this is part of a plot by Simon Bar Sinister. But, sweet Polly, if Simon is cleaning up crime, I don't think Underdog would try to stop him. But Simon is the wickedest man in the world. Hark. We interrupt this program for a special bulletin. The ocean liner Lusitanic is sinking in the North Atlantic Ocean. An urgent call has gone out for Underdog. Excuse me, sweet Polly, but I must go quickly and find Underdog. Oh, oh dear, oh, dear. And I just know Simon Bar Sinister is up to no good. What should I do? Oh, where, oh, where has my underdog gone? Oh, where, oh, where has he gone? Is sweet Polly right? Has Simon got a wicked plan? And if he has, can underdog stop him and save the ocean liner, too? There's plenty of excitement ahead in our next episode. <laughs> Simon Bar Sinister had used his vacuum gun to capture every crook in the city. They're all locked up in a tank, boss. Now, what are we going to do with them? I'm going to train them into an army. The greatest army of crooks the world has ever known. And I, I am going to be the commander-in-chief. <laughs> well, what if they won't? <laughs> they will, or else... Sean? 
Good. Simon says, right face. Simon says, forward arch. Left arch. Turn around you. I didn't say Simon says. Simon says, company out. Good. <laughs> Very good indeed. Meanwhile, far out in the Atlantic, the liner Lusitanic was going down for the third time. There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Save us, Underdog! Save us! When ships are sinking, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go. Underdog was fixing the hole in the ship. Well, they look in fine shape. I think we're ready to move in. We'll take everyone by surprise. Achoo! A sneeze. Someone's outside that window. It's that HTV reporter, Sweet Polly Purebred. You won't get away, Sweet Polly. I'll stop you with my vacuum gun. <laughs> Open the tank and let her out. Well, well, sweet Polly. And to what do we owe this visit? Hmm? I heard your diabolical scheme, you fiend. But you'll never get away with it. Underdog! Help! Underdog! Oh, where, oh, where has my underdog gone? Oh, where, oh, where has he gone? You better shut her up, boss. She's going to bring underdog here. Let her bring him here, Cat. I'm ready for him. I've saved the passengers, one and all. Where, oh, where has my underdog gone? But now I hear another call. When Polly's in trouble, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go. Sing away, sweet Polly. I can hardly wait for Underdog. There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. You may be here, but it's not going to do anybody any good. Because not even you can stand up against my new vacuum gun. Simon says, come here. Underdog is exhausted from saving the ship. Can he resist the power of the vacuum gun? And if he can't, what will happen? There's a thrilling time ahead in our next exciting episode. You'll see all of this underdog adventure complete on today's show. And in weeks to come, you'll be seeing exciting scenes like this. Exhausted from saving a sinking ocean liner, was now struggling mightily against Simon Bar Sinister's powerful vacuum gun. You got him, boss. You got underdog. <laughs> of course I got him, Cad. And now I'll fix it so we never have to worry about him again. Or sweet Polly. <laughs> While we're stealing all the money in the country, the tank will be filling up with water, and that will be the end of Underdog and Sweet Polly Purebred. <laughs> Boss, you're a genius. <laughs> of course. All right, Army. Prepare to move out. Eel, you'll take Chicago, Minneapolis, and St. Paul. Riff, you'll take Las Vegas, San Francisco, and Los Angeles. Batty man, he'll take Boston, Buffalo, and Binghamton. Cad and I will take care of the rest. Now, Simon says, Army, forward! So it
it was that very soon in a bank in Chicago... Simon says, come here. Meanwhile, what of underdog and sweet poly purebred? Oh, underdog, it's not bad enough that we are in this truck with all this trash. Now water is pouring in. Do something. That sinking ship took my strength away. But the pill in my ring will save the day. Your ring? The secret compartment of my ring I fill with an underdog super energy pill. Your ring? It's gone. There's no ring on your finger. When I was pulled into all this debris, the ring must have fallen off of me. I'll dive down and try to find the ring. It's our only chance. Meanwhile, Rip Rap had arrived at Las Vegas. <laughs> Simon says, come here. I found something round and it's made of metal. Underdog, maybe it's your ring. Oh, no. It's an automobile hubcap. If at first you fail your deed, try again till you succeed. And in Boston, Batty Man had arrived with a vacuum gun. A beautiful armored car. Simon says, come here. I found something. I found a ring. Maybe it's yours. Oh, no. It's, it's only a link of chain. I'll never find your ring. Never give up while you can fight. You'll win if you do right. That's good news, Army. Good news. You hear that, Chad? My Army's done it. Now I have all the money in America, and I shall rule the country. <laughs> Will Polly find Underdog's ring? The answer lies ahead in our next exciting episode. <laughs> Simon, over and out. Roger, Simon, who's that? Oh, yes, yes, Simon, right away. Hello out there in TV land. This is O.J. Squeeze, filling in for your favorite TV reporter, Sweet Polly Purebred, who is still missing. Word from the White House is expected any moment about the national emergency, which has been caused by Simon Foss Sinister and his gang stealing all the money in this country. Meanwhile, we understand the Army has been called out to try and stop Simon's vacuum gang. All right, men. There come the trucks. When I give the command, open fire. Remember your orders, Army. Simon says, make them come here. <laughs> Stop me. Yeah, boss, and this time you didn't have to worry about Underdog. I found it, Underdog. I have your ring here. The secret compartment of my ring I fill with an Underdog super energy pill. Oh. Underdog is here. I'll take care of you, Underdog. Okay, Underdog. Let's see how you like a little lead from my machine gun. I'll take 
care of underdog, for I am never alone. Get him, Bats! He's winning, boss. He's flattening every one of them. <laughs> but remember my vacuum gun, Cad. It stopped him before, and it will stop him again. Simon says, come here. But this time, Underdog had his powerful strength, and this time the vacuum gun was no match for him. With his mighty atomic breath, Underdog inhaled. Underdog's atomic breath versus Simon's mighty vacuum gun. And Underdog won! <laughs> Simon and his army were defeated. The money was returned to all the cities where it belonged, and then once more, everyone could look up and say, It's a plane! It's a bird! It's a frog! Not plane nor bird nor even frog. It's just little old me, un... <laughs> Underdog. Now, as our hero of heroes goes about his everyday good deeds, we're glad to know that in today's story, somehow, Underdog came through again. But what about next week? Here's a scene from next week's show. Here's the power line. Watch this. city and pitch dark. Sure now and it's gotta be the work of the electric e